DPI. You usually see this term or acronym in mouse packaging, marketing, or even online listings. But what is that thing really? Aren't the mouse sensitivity settings on your computer already enough? Hey guys, Sayer of Yugatech, and today we'll be talking about the mouse DPI to answer the question, does it even matter? Well, let's dive in. But first we have to ask the question, what is DPI? Well, the term DPI stands for dots per inch. It's often used interchangeably with PPI or pixels per inch as they essentially refer to the same thing. Basically, DPI refers to how sensitive the mouse sensor is to the movement, which directly affects to how your cursor moves across the screen. The higher the DPI, the faster your cursor can zip across the display. When it comes to gaming, having higher DPI settings for your mouse can really come in handy, especially if you're using a high resolution monitor. These days, more and more gamers, designers, and professionals are opting for higher resolution monitors, which means having a higher DPI can make a big difference. For example, a 1440p monitor or 2K has 40% more vertical pixels than a 1080p monitor. So having a higher DPI setting on your gaming mouse just makes a lot more sense. With a DPI of 3000, for instance, you can easily move your cursor across the screen's vertical axis and just half an inch. Well, that was a bit more, but get the idea. Now let's talk about 4K monitors real quick. These bad boys have a 2560 vertical pixels and with a mouse that has a DPI of 5000, you can achieve the same level of precise cursor movement. But here's the thing, keep in mind that as you consider the width of the display and the number of pixels it has, the DPI requirements will also increase. So, if you have wider or ultra-wide monitors, you might need even higher DPI numbers to truly optimize your experience. Have you ever noticed the trend among gaming mouse recently? They're boasting incredibly high DPI settings with some mouse even reaching up to 30,000 DPI like the Razer Viper V2 Pro. Although the real question is, are such high DPI values really beneficial or even practical for most gamers? When it comes to gaming, Choosing the right DPI for your mouse is not as easy as picking the highest possible number. Again, it all depends on what you want, how you play, and overall feel. At the same time, it's about finding the perfect balance between sensitivity and precision, taking into account both your mouse's capabilities and your monitor's resolution. Imagine you have a monitor with only 1080p resolution. With 1080 pixels in a vertical straight line, a gaming mouse with a DPI of 1080 would move the cursor from the bottom to the top of the screen with just an inch of the mouse movement. That's a pretty comfortable range of motion, right? Increasing that number up like a mouse with over 2000 DPI could traverse the entire height of the display with only half an inch of mouse movement. And the benefits of a higher DPI mouse becomes even more apparent when you're gaming on a 4K monitor. 4K monitors usually have 3840 horizontal pixels. Now with a DPI of over 4000, you can smoothly move your cursor from one end of the screen to the other with only about an inch of mouse movement. So it's not just going for the highest DPI number. It's about finding the sweet spot that offers both sensitivity and precision based on your specific setup. Be it your monitor, the mouse itself, and the system settings you apply to your computer. Let's move on to how higher DPI affects your gameplay. In first-person shooters or FPS games, accuracy is one of the most important things you need to have, aside from being fast, of course. So in these type of games, a lower DPI of around 1600 or even lower at 400 to 800 might be more suitable depending on your playstyle. You still get precise cursor movements without sacrificing accuracy too much. Now, let's change the game up a bit. In MMOs or MOBA games where agile mouse movements are very crucial, having higher DPI can be more or less a game changer. It allows players to react lightning fast to situations and make rapid movements all while maintaining some form of accuracy. These are just two different situations which imply that higher DPI can be advantageous in specific scenarios such as MMOs, while lower DPI is not necessarily disadvantageous and will suffice for most users pros, and even casual gamers alike. But here's the bottom line. The best DPI for gaming or just casual use really depends on what you're playing and the playstyle you have. It also depends on the kind of work you're doing, like illustration or other works that might need swift or even slower movements. 
ultimately the best DPI settings depend on your own personal preference. Again, it's about finding that sweet spot. So yes, DPI does matter and the setting you choose is all up to you. Go ahead and don't be afraid to experiment with different DPI settings and tweak them based on how you prefer things to be. Also, let's not forget about the other factors like the mouse's grip, its weight, the button layouts, its design ergonomics, and even the type of mouse pad you use. By the way, if you're curious about mouse pads, we've already discussed them in a previous video, which you can check out here. All of these elements come into play and can have a significant impact on the fluidity and the precision of your swipes and flicks, ultimately shaping your overall experience with a mouse. So, what DPI do you use? Do you use a lower setting or a higher setting? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, do hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to follow us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and visit yugatech.com to stay updated with the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Ose, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.